Hey, this is Pastor Kurt. Hey, it's Aaron. Welcome to the prayer garden for Wednesday of our daily office. We're in Psalm 63. It's a Psalm of David when he was in the desert of Judah. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. I've seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. They who seek my life will be destroyed. They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for the jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God's name will praise him, while the mouths of liars will be silenced. This is God's word for God's people. Let us say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows David at this point of his life is still on the run from Saul. He's there in the desert or the wilderness of Judah. And he's waiting for everything to turn out. For all of God's promises to, to become fulfilled. The passage that I love out of this is, is verse 7. Because you are my help, I will sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. I just have this image of David sitting there in a cave feeling God's protection around him even though he knows outside the cave there are people who want him dead. And there he just says under the shadow of your wings I'm going to sing your praise and so he writes this song praising God for all God's goodness. Even when life wasn't good he still sang. He still praised because God was with him. How do you find the time and the space to praise God even when life isn't good? One of the things Elizabeth and I learned along the way was when life isn't good, we have to look for where it is. We look for things to celebrate. And every day, even in the hardest of times, what are three things we celebrate? We found that helped us get through even the darkest of seasons for us. So I'd encourage you, there under the shadow of God's wings, to sing to the Lord. Let me pray for you. God, with Horatio Spafford, we give you thanks. And we say it is well with our soul. Even when nothing is well around us, we still praise you. Because it is well. Amen. And Lord, haste the day when my faith shall be sighed. 
the clouds be rolled back as a scroll the trump shall resound and the lord shall descend even so That was one of the, uh, it's actually one of the first hymns I ever learned. Yeah. And it's one that's, that's really true to me. It was in a uh, marching band show that we did. It was part of a spoken piece of a marching band show and it was really powerful. And uh, I came to church one day and I was like, that song was in my marching band show. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. So I was, I was just really intrigued and it's one of the hymns I've always kind of held dear to me. So uh, mm -hmm. thank you all so much for joining us today on this, on this Wednesday edition of Daily Office. Um, Till we see you on Thursday, which will be tomorrow, mm -hmm. <laughs> we will uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. So until then, you all have a great day, and God bless. Mm -hmm.